they had an extremely high penetration in the market. So therefore, the, these are a stimulus for placing the core services of the devices on demand in the cloud. So for this device, it is much more important to have the cloud uh, out there. So this is what is usually referred as mobile cloud computing, which stands for anywhere, anytime, secure data access, applications, and service access. So to be able to use the mobile, the mobile phones without problems because the service is not more in the terminal itself, but it is in the cloud. So this kind of transparency is something that can be, um, uh, can be increased. Just to give you some examples, so we have Dropbox, and Dropbox is an, exam um, an example of online back backup system. It was recently um, available not only for fixed environments, but also for in the mobile version for these mobile uh, terminals. But now we have other issues if we come to the mobile world, uh, which are the security and privacy issues. They are even more challenging than they, uh, they were before. So one of the things is the location of users. So this location could be changing over time. Uh, as I referred, we can access Terminal, so the same user can access different terminals, so it has to, um, to be identified and to be able to use these different terminals uh, without problems. And the mobile terminals are in this uncontrolled environment, so it's uh, not so easy to monitor, um, to monitor, monitor the actions in this mobile environment, and this is, um, this makes it difficult to uh, enforce non-repudiation. So there are several issues of security, and some of them are also privacy and identity management, so how to identify, uh, provide identity in these different terminals. But I would say that similar issues were already in the mobile environments themselves, in peer-to-peer -peer and ad hoc environments. So th these issues already appear, solutions are already there for them, but usually what happens is that every time we deal with security, the solutions may be cumbersome, which is, leads to the obvious conclusion, what is the following? Increase of security can lead to decrease in usability. And this is a, a great problem. So how to reach the balance? How to reach the balance between security, between usability? And the other point is, could this be used as the killer issue to integrate the telcos, uh, the operators in the cloud world? So we know that uh, actually the operators are trying to get into the cloud world. That didn't start, didn't start with them, but they are trying to enter this world. And some of them already did, okay? And they are trying to provide new service and business models. And in this sense, the application at the service providers and telcos could contribute with their unique capabilities to the creation of applications. Uh, they could be target towards thousands of these small markets. So this could be very important. So this, since this type of collaboration uh, has been more common in the internet for many years, so the concept of network as a service or even uh, communication as a service are just the extension of a well-proven uh, model into telecoms area. But telecoms could go even further and they could provide the possibility to extend the data centers from the core from these core centers, they could extend them to the operator networks. For example, to the access networks that are closer to the users with the most accessed services and data. And this could greatly increase 
the speed to access the service, and this would go somehow towards the vision uh, referred yesterday afternoon in a workshop, uh, which was the vision of distributed um, clouds and peer-to-peer -peer clouds. So this would be not so visionary as this peer-to-peer -peer vision, but could be a good step to take the cloud closer to the users. And a last message, so these possibilities could be used to integrate developing countries into the cloud world and try to decrease this um, gap that we have nowadays in the developing countries.